This is North Dakota Today. Hi everyone, welcome to North Dakota Today. I am Jordan Schreier. Joining me today, we have our noon anchor, Anna Johnson. Good morning, Jordan. How are you today? I'm good, how are you guys? Uh, you well, me? hopefully they're all good <laughs> at home. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm cold. Yeah. That's what mm -hmm. I am. How was uh, getting up and uh, starting the car and all that oh, for goodness. you today? Yeah, no, it was it was rough. And I'm lucky that my husband does get up before me to take care of the kids and he will start the car and that's great. So I wore my Uggs on the way in, not these nice shoes I'm wearing now. Yeah, you don't want to ruin them. I do the same thing. I don't mm -hmm. have uh, heels that would show off my foot, but still <laughs> I, I have actual big old boots that I put on over mm -hmm. this and then I come in and you do a little change so you can get going because yeah. Oh, yeah, it's goodness. not nice out. That's nice that no. your husband starts uh, the car. I should train my dog to do it for me. There you go. It just put the paw on the button. Yeah, have a little mm -hmm. auto start, but make it bigger. Yeah, there you so go. And so that way, that's actually a really genius Maybe idea. Maybe with a picture of a dog treat on it. Yeah. So it's like, hey. That should actually be a thing because that would be it. really great to just be like, mm -hmm. hey, hoop, start it up. And the dog like runs over and hits the button. Patent pending. Yeah. No, that's uh, <laughs> that's a really great idea. I like that. It could be called Pup Start. <gasps> I love this. It yeah. could be on local sales and deals. <laughs> Maybe we go on Shark Tank with it one day, Ooh, too, or something like that. Go. See, See if they're going to like that. <laughs> well, that's good. Yeah, no, because otherwise it is chilly out. Uh, we're actually going to be checking in with Lisa Green uh, yeah. midway through our show. And she's going to be giving us uh, a rundown of everything to expect because now tomorrow we're expecting some more nasty weather. Mm. We're just on that really fun, like, roller coaster ride through January that's, like, cold, super cold, and now some snow, and now more cold, and some and snow. And it, it just feels like we just continue to go down. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's just like a roller coaster <laughs> to the depth. Like, it never really goes back up. If it does, it's because there's a snow mound, and then it goes yeah, right back fair. down that's fair. after it. We're supposed to turn a corner, though, because it's almost February, and it's light out a little earlier now. I've noticed that uh, in the evening, it's not pitch black at 4.30 anymore. That's really helpful You can for make supper. Our and not feel like it's midnight anymore. Vitamin D, yeah. Ooh, I know, thanks. it's pretty rough. <laughs> uh, well, I was off yesterday, so today feels like my Monday. Oh, that must be wonderful for you. <laughs> right? You know, like I'm coming in and I'm just like, all right, let's go, beginning of the week, and everyone else is like, it's Tuesday. And I'm like, oh, that's right. Uh, but I want to talk about what I did this weekend, mm -hmm. not to go back no, too far. No, uh, This Saturday, I was in Purim hosting a Puzzle Palooza. Okay. A puzzle competition. Have you ever been in competitive I, puzzling? I've never competitively puzzled. I do <laughs> leisure puzzles. You do leisure? I don't even do leisure puzzles, no. <laughs> let alone competitive puzzles. Um, but there's a picture of what it was. Uh, it was a fundraiser for Empowering Kids in Perm. It's the uh, autism center there. They're getting a new building and they're one of the few autism centers between Fargo and the Twin Cities that offers all the programming they do. So it was a fundraiser there. Teams uh, got together and you either had a 500 or a 1000 piece puzzle and then you were timed and then whoever finished it first, second, third got prizes and then otherwise wow. there was uh, food and people could grab drinks as well. And so the 500 puzzler Gosh, they finished it, and I think just over an hour, under an hour. That's crazy. Right around there. The thousand piece puzzle finished in, I believe, like one hour and 50 some minutes. Those are talented people. 1,000 piece puzzle. I can't even, can't even imagine. I've never done a 1,000 piece puzzle in my life. And it's actually surprising my family has not competitively puzzled because we compete in everything else. Well, now you know what to do next yeah, time. Yeah, that's going to be our new like holiday game situation, I think. Yeah, it actually could be pretty good, especially if you have relatives you don't like. You can put them on a puzzle team oh. that, you, <laughs> that you don't have to you interact can do with. A thousand piece. We'll see you in five hours. Uh, yeah, but you have to have all the same puzzle. That's how mm, they do it there. Everyone has sure. the same puzzle, so it's like equal, you know what I mean, as far as what you got to put together. So just wow. go and buy out a bunch of different puzzles and, and or a bunch a of the same cause. ones. Yeah, no, and all the money raised went to uh, the Autism Center in Perm Empowering Kids. So Aww. that was great. And Beautiful. both of the first place winners um, just donated their winnings back to the uh, organization. Oh, how nice. I know. I went over there mm -hmm. to like, I was kind of also the judge. I had to see if the puzzle was a good puzzle. You know, they didn't put any pieces where they weren't Little supposed to. Little Jeff action. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> it was a good puzzle. And then the lady was like, yeah, we're just going to, you can just 
take the earnings back. And I don't work for oh. them. And I was like, I, I need to see if that's legal. I'm going to need that so, check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cross out your name on that. Anyway, so <laughs> thanks to everyone uh, who was there and who received me. So it was uh, a fun time. Well, looking forward, I look forward to February 14th. Valentine's Day is the next holiday on the calendar. It is another one where we can eat our feelings that it's so yes. cold out. And some uh. of us will be eating them in the shape <laughs> of a heart. Yes, so. and maybe not chocolate. <laughs> do you remember ever getting these, those the little boxes of the ones? I do the ones? conversation hard. Yeah, Were, did you like those? I hated the flavor, yeah. but I loved yep. the message. I also think they taste like junk, uh, but that's just me. If you like them, nothing against that. Eat them till your heart's content, but now there's apparently new sayings on the candy conversation hearts. Little words of encouragement from you got this and high five to crush it and you to best. Don't worry, the classic sayings haven't gone anywhere and you can still have someone be yours in sugar form. Look at that, can still do those things. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, maybe more as a suggestion and then actually get like the real good chocolate and get that Yeah, probably. With it. I mean, they're like little kid-sized Pepto-Bismols, I think. So. <laughs> Got a tummy ache? That's what I do when I have heartburn. There you go. I just take a nice little uh, Be Mine Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> and then it helps your mental health too. Yeah, it oh. does. It says, you got this acid <laughs> reflex. Go back down. Love that. I know. Anyway, but also, uh, so this one person coming up here has, uh, actually, I thought she won the lottery, but apparently not. One Michigan woman was given uh, a great reason to check her spam folder. Oh, she did win the lottery. Okay, I was right on that. Yeah, My yeah. segue was going to be that she could buy a lot of those candies, but I kind of messed it up. A lot of those candies? Oh, Ooh. there it is. <laughs> but I messed up the beginning of it. Sorry, everyone. Anyway, <laughs> this lady right here, Laura Spears, played the Mega Millions Lottery. Uh, she bought a ticket online for the December 31st drawing. She says a few days later she was looking for a missing email from someone when she checked her spam folder. Well, that's a good reason to go back through my email. Check the spam, yeah. yeah and seriously. that's when she saw there was an email from the lottery saying she had won a prize, three million bucks. That is crazy. And I did look her up out of curiosity because I'm from Michigan, figured out she actually lives kind of near Pontiac, which is by Detroit. Okay. So some fun spending cash, I guess, if you're down in that part of the mitten. I just deleted all of my spam yesterday. I, I, that was my goal on my, my day off. I went through and mm. I was like, okay, delete all. And I'm like, mm. Now we're never going to know if you're a secret millionaire. <laughs> I was about to say, I should have probably checked that. <laughs> We've joked actually around the office of like, what would you do if you won like, say $10 million? And I'm like, I'd still come to work and just know in the back of my head like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I'm buying lunch today, guys. I'm buying lunch. In some states, I actually think you can stay anonymous if you win. Mm -hmm. And in other ones, it is public. So whether you like it or Ooh. not, they put your name out. I'm not sure which Minis what Minnesota and North Dakota I are. Know. Mm, oh, I, I was just heard, informed. Yeah, North, North Dakota, Dakota can you honest. can remain remain anonymous. So yeah, you could do it. Yeah, you get ten million and then still show up. Yeah, and I would just to be like, I do. You guys see these shoes? They're five million dollars. <laughs> well, that went half of your earnings right there. <laughs> yeah, well, people are always like, priorities. what'd you do if you won a million dollars? Quit my job. I'm like, mm, in today's world, you can't really do that. No, really, the economy's not that strong. <laughs> yeah, inflation going up. I don't know if that's really going to get you as far as yeah. you think it is. Invest now is a great time to buy stock because the stock market is just. Oh, Way down there. yeah, we had that yeah. story on the news this morning. So um, anyway, but uh, if you win a million dollars, you could invest in a new house or maybe an ice mm -hmm. palace. Yeah, that's what they got going out in Detroit Lakes. That's what I've heard. And it looks amazing. Do we have the I think we have like a live view of the ice palace, how mm -hmm. it's coming along on the lake. Uh, there it is. This is for grownups who love playing with Legos. <laughs> that they can just go out to Detroit Lakes and build a whole palace. That, that's coming along. We caught in with that, uh, checked in with them, I should say, last week. Wasn't this far. Now I'm seeing like a foundation going up. Right. That's nice. Uh, yeah, some of the bases taking shape. Volunteers and bobcats are working to shuffle those blocks. Do you want to, oh, Ooh, is Oh, gosh, each block of ice is 20 inches thick, weighs more than 600 pounds. The ice palace will be completed 
in time for Polar Fest, which starts February 11th. Hopefully we'll be able to get out there and maybe get a live shot of that too. Yeah, no, and we'll be checking in, uh, I'm sure, with them uh, throughout, uh, as throughout the building, I should say, of that Ice Palace. But we're building a pretty great show here. Heck yeah, we are. Yeah, coming up uh, <laughs> after the break, actually, we're going to be talking about preventing human trafficking. January is Human Trafficking Prevention Month. Uh, we'll break down the important information that you might not even know about everything that's happening. Yeah, but next, uh, your local steals and deals.